Hello everyone, this is Majid and in this tutorial I want to show you how we can use Bridge Design Pattern in PHP. Bridge Design Pattern believes that inheritance can be replaced by a composition, also it tries to split the abstraction and implementation part of our application. Today I want to create simple file viewer with Bridge Design Pattern and you will see how we can split the abstraction and implementation in a real case example. For the abstraction part, we need the functionality to view the content of the directory and also for implementation part, we use different sources like local drive or Dropbox or any other services. Our abstraction in this case receives an implementation object and implementation class should implement a functionality called getFiles in order to give us an ability to view the directory and the files contained in the directory. So let's jump to our code and see what we are going to do today. Before the start uh, here I have a local directory uh, and it contains a single picture and also in this case I have Dropbox token authorization to can access to the directory of the Dropbox. So first of all let me create a file called index.php and also I need app directory and in this case let me initialize the composer as usual and here I want to autoload the app directory and let me run composer dump autoload and in index.php let me include the autoload file vendor.php and I and I set and set display errors to true in order to giving and receiving error message if we have any. Uh, in app directory I want to create interface called directory and interface should has function directory and uh, the function uh, will uh, get all of the files in a directory. So in this case I want to define the function, public function, for example get files and we can have different kinds of directory for example uh, remote directory from Dropbox, Google Drive or any other services or for example we have just only local drive. So in this case I want to create local directory that should implement directory interface and local directory implements directory and let me add namespace at this and in this case the local directory should implement get files function function public function get files and in this case I want to just list all of the files that contains in the local directory so let me use a scan directory and pass the directory I want to list I want to move back and exit the app directory and I want to list local directory and I get the files and simply return the files so just let me pass an array for the return value and also let me add array here so let me check if local directory works so let me instantiate local directory and call the function called get files and just simply wire down the result so let me run this code and yes we have picture for that here and also I have these two files that are related to the OS and the Linux 
So let me remove this. I want, in this case, I want to use array diff and remove that items. So let me run this again. And yes, in this case, I have an array that contains all of the files in the local directory. So after local directory, I want to create, for example, Dropbox directory to can access a folder or a directory from Dropbox. And in this case, I want to use uh, a package called Spite. And I want to install this package in a minute. So let me complete Dropbox directory that it also implements directory and in this case we should have a function called get files and it returns also an array of files so in this case I want to use spite directory and you know for installing this package I want to use this command I paste it here and waiting for installing this package and in this case after installation I can access the directory with this code so I want to paste that here and yes it's installed and also I want to add my token so I want to use file get content and use directory exit from the app and in this case I want to drop box.token here we have authorization and in this case I want I have response response from this and so let me just dump this to see what we have here and also I want to return just response and now for now I want to comment these lines and I want to use Dropbox directory and let me remove this word up here so let me run this and yes we have we get a lot of information here so I want to show you what it is exactly but let me clean up this and I want to use array map to use to make it cleaner I will give the array map entries entries key and in this case I want to just return every display path pass display here so let me run this again so we have an error here so let me see what it is line 15 response Let me var dump it again. So now it works. So what happened here? Yes, it works. So in this case, I have three files in the Dropbox directory. For now, let me show you what it is. And you can see I have a folder called bridge design pattern example and I have three picture here and for example if I want and delete this file for example picture number three and run this function again yes I receive two number of picture so we implement the both of uh, both of implementation part of our application and as we say for example in uh, readme file we have local drive and Dropbox as implementation and for now I want to implement abstraction part and for abstraction part for example I want to first create interface for example 
I want to call call it file manager and it's an interface that uh, contain a single function and this function is responsible for only uh, viewing the directory content directory content and in this case it returns array of files that are exist in a directory and in this case I want to create another call, class called file viewer for example and for the file viewer I want to implement file manager implement the file manager and let's implement this function and you know I think I made a mistake in naming the file yes it's correct for viewing directory content uh, first of all I want to pass a directory to the constructor of file viewer file viewer class so let me create constructor construct and it receive directory and in this case we can just return directory get files and yes I think that's it we can use just file viewer class that implements file manager so every file manager uh, should have ability to for example viewing the directory content and we just simply pass the directory into the constructor of the file viewer to see what it is inside the directory so in this case let me just uh, create file viewer object file viewer and in this case we should just pass the implementation file viewer is our abstraction and we should just simply return the implementation part to uh, this abstraction and after that I want to receive the files inside this directory so I should only call view directory content and for now I want and you know I expect to see just single local file and I want to see picture uh, number 4 in our terminal php index.php so yes we have an error here so interface app file manager is not found so let me see what happened here file manager file manager namespace app namespace app file manager yes in this case we have a silly mistake so yes in this case you can see uh, the local directory that contains one file single file and if we use Dropbox directory as an, another implementation and run this code you can see we get both files that we previously seen them and they are in the Dropbox directory and you can see you can see that simply we uh, decouple the abstraction and implementation so in this case our implementation was local directory and Dropbox directory and for implement for abstraction we just create file viewer that receives the implementation and for example in the future if you for example want to implement Google Drive you can just simply create another class and pass only to the file viewer to have ability to use the Google Drive services so I hope you enjoyed that this video and uh, do not forget to subscribe and like this video and if, feel free to ask any question in this comment section and uh, that's it have a nice day